Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a registry key um, using configuration item. So if you want to deploy a registry key, you can deploy registry key using a package or you can use the configuration item. Also, you can use the the PowerShell script. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to do how to how to do the registry key in configuration items. So what you need to do is go to asset and compliance, and then go into compliance settings. Under compliance settings, there's configuration items here. Let's right click on configuration settings. I'm sorry, configuration items, and then click on create configuration item. Let's give it a name. Um, let's call it test. Let's call it a YouTube demo for richest tree, richest tree key. So if you do it for Windows 10 only, you can check Windows 10. But in this case, you know, if you have multiple operating system, I'm just going to check Windows. Windows desktop and servers. In settings device management without configuration management client. So I'm not going to do this one. This is for devices like mobile devices or iPad. And after that, you can create a categories. All right, I'm going to click next. I can create a categories if I want to, but in this case, I don't have to use the categories. Click next. The All the operating system, you can leave as default. Click on new. So in here, let's give it a name called um, whatever you want to call it. It's just uh, the name of the registry key, and we'll call it test. Regis. registry key reg value so it's going to be reg value display type if it's going to be a string or integer in this case it's going to be a string you can do a version as well um, let's call it I'm going to call it versions HK local machine you know what yeah, let's call it that. Um, HP local machine. It's going to be under software. I'm going to call it software. HP. You can call it anything you want, just for testing. HP. Um, printer. The value name is driver. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click Apply. 
compliance. Let's create new compliance. So the driver, um, since it's a string, I'm going to call it test. Was it a string? Let's go back. Where's the version? All right, let's see. It's the version and call it 6.0. You want to make sure you want to remediate non compliant. If the registry is not there, it's going to put their keys there on the computer. So you want to make sure you check this box. But if you don't want to remediate, you can uncheck it. In this case, just go with that. Click next or OK and click OK. Next. Next. And next. So the first step is complete. Let's go to the second step. The second step, you, you need to go into the configuration baseline. Let's create configuration baseline. Let's call it um, U, YouTube demo. Configuration baseline for registry key. Click on add. So you want to add the configuration items. I have one. So I'm going to click add. Click OK. And then click OK. So the configuration baseline has been created. The next, so step one, step two, and step three. Step three, you're going to deploy it. We just right click and deploy it. Choose the collection. I'm going to deploy it to all Windows, all workstations only. For testing purposes, I'm going to run every hour. Also here, you want to check remediate non-compliant rules when support. Click OK. So that's it. That's how you um, deploy configuration items. I mean, deploy registry key using configuration item and configuration baseline. And if you look at the deployment, you can automatically generate a, a collection, um, a non-compliant collection or a compliant collection. All you have to do is go into the deployment, right click, and then create new collection. You can choose compliant or non-compliant or even unknown. That's it. Thank you for watching and have a good day.